is up everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. In today's episode, if you may notice something a little different, we are level 48 now. Let's go. Um, but beyond that, we got some new news today. Or well, we got some new news like last week. Um, it's just been very busy recently at work, so I've had a little harder time getting out and about. Um, but, with that being said, I'm very excited. Uh, has anything cool happened recently? Um, shinies? Not really. Nothing Nothing too new that uh, you don't know about, I don't think. We got the Spearow. Um, Marowak. We got, a, we got an Apom oh, when we were over in uh, City Place, actually. Um, it was... Just kind of like in a cluster I was quick catching um, and kind of just like going and I didn't even realize that I got it and we got it so very exciting I, I I almost didn't even realize it so very cool um, but beyond that nothing 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 really we are in a Cyndaquil nest which uh, so if you're looking for Cyndaquil uh, come out to Okahili Park there are a ton of them as you can tell um, it's also weather boosted, so pretty cool there. I already have a Hundo Typhlosion though, um, but if you're looking for XL candies, Cynical Nest. But that is not the starter that we're looking for. This is not the starter you are looking for. Um, we are going to be celebrating Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, just like I thought um, when I saw. The, the different uh, spotlight hours, I was like, huh, something a little fishy here. We have a brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl event coming uh, because the games are launching on the 19th, which is just a few days away, uh, four days to be exact, at the time of recording this. We're going to be getting a tie-in to Pokemon Go. So, celebrating this, Starting tomorrow at 10 a.m., there will be a Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl event happening in Pokemon Go. Two-part event, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Event bonuses will include half incubator distance, one-third super incubator distance, so they want you hatching them eggs. And then costumed Pokemon, and these ones are actually kind of dope. Shiny Turtwig, Shiny Chimchar, Shiny Piplup, wearing Lucas's hat, which is the main boy character in the game. And then we have Turtwig, Chimchar, and Piplup again, but with Dawn's hat, which is the main female character in the game. So that's very cool. These are all shiny possibilities. Um, I guess, like, uh, sure, whatever. Like, uh. There will be a collection challenge where we complete it and you can earn a thousand XP, three thousand dust, and a Frostlass encounter. Frostlass actually really good for PvP, uh, really good for ice and ghost type uh, attacks um, against Avalanche and Shadow Ball, Powder Snow user. It's actually really good. Um, there will be new avatar items, stickers, and bundles. So we get. Some, uh, some onesies, which are very cute, very cute onesies. And then we get the Dawn and Lucas, like, whole outfit, which is kind of dope, kind of, you know, like, it's kind of nice. And then there will be also limited time stops, uh, stickers. There will also be an event box with 20 Pokeballs, a Sinnoh Stone, a great box with, uh, Three super incubators, two incubators, and one lure module. So, not too bad overall. Looking pretty nice. Look, looking like a nice little uh, start to this. And then part one, Brilliant Diamond. Lasting just two days. The 16th, or well, yeah, just two days. The 16th and 17th. The first half of the event will be Seal, Murkrow, Puchiana, Aron, or Aron, Turtwig, Chinchar, and Piplup with the red hat, Lucas's hat. So if you're looking for the red hat, it's the first two days in the wild. 
and Badoof, Kurtatot, Veneri, and Stunky. So almost all shiny possibilities except for Stunky, and Stunky can be a ditto. Um, if you're lucky, Scyther, Lavatar, and Burmy, as well as Weasel. So lots and lots of shiny hunting opportunities here, which is always really nice. In the raids will be Kranidos, Drifloon, Bronzor, and Gibble. Okay, the raids looking kind of dope, you know, like little one-star raids that you can just solo and knock out. Three-star raids, we get Tyranitar. Okay. It's always nice when Tyranitar gets back in the raids because, like, Tyranitar is such a useful Pokemon. It's always dope. Lopunny, which can Mega Evolve and can be shiny. Drapion, which is really good for PvP. Toxicroak, another really good PvP. Um, and Gallade, all really good for PvP as far as, like, PvE or versus raids. We got Tyranitar and we got Lopunny. Lopunny can be Mega Evolved. Uh, to give that fighting type boost or normal type boost. Um, and then in the five star raids, we get the turkey. We get the moon turkey, Cresselia, as well as Mega Lopany in raids. Eggs, Badoo, Bonsley, Happiny, Mime Jr., Riolu. Hold up, Mime Jr. Yes, that's right. And also, all of them can be shiny. So, worldwide, Mime Jr., Riolu. And you have the one-third super incubator distance, the half regular incubator distance. You can knock out these eggs. Also, I really need to get better at sending gifts. Because I have to do that to get to level 49. Um, but yeah, very nice egg pool there. And from the research, Bagon, the white hat, um, Don's hat starters, and Burmy, uh, Trash and Sandy Cloak in the research as well as shield on in the research part two is going to be shining pearl from 18th to the 21st so you get a little more time the 18th and 19th 20th four days for brilliant or for shining pearl uh which is kind of you're telling me that you get two days for the first half and you get 18 19 20 21 p.m Almost twice the time for Shining Pearl. Interesting. Anyways, we get Pinsir, Mischievous, Houndour, Sfeel, Turtwig, uh, Chimchar, uh, Piplup with the Dawn Hat, the White Hat, Badoof, Krigatot, Veneri, Glammeow. Pretty much the same encounter pool. Uh, this time, um, the only one not being shiny is Sfeel. Um, I don't know, man. Like, Sfeel is okay. Um, and then the rare ones will be Slowpoke, Bagon, Buizel, Burmy with the Sandy Cloak. So not too bad. You know, lots of shiny encounters. One star raids, Shield on, Drifloon, and Bronzor. Shield on is actually the one that... Okay. Kranidos, I want just to get a good IV one. Shield on? I have ones for Great League already, for Bastiodon. But low-key, I wouldn't mind getting a shiny Bastiodon. Like, everyone's about the red uh, Rampardos, but I don't know. Bastiodon kind of dope. Three-star raids, Salamance, Lopunny again, Drapion again, Toxicroak again, and Glade again. I would have preferred Tyranitar. Not going to lie. Salamance does get a Mega Evolution eventually, though. Cresselia and Mega Lopunny, so the same for the big ones. Um, eggs, Badoo, Bonsly, Happiny this time. Uh, Mime Jr. and Riolu. So again, the big ones are going to be Mime Jr. and Riolu. Riolu having a fantastic shiny Mime Jr. for the Pokedex entry. Uh, I already have a Mime Jr. that I got from a uh, from a trade, um, but it can be shiny, so pretty dope. Field research encounters will be the Lucas um, starters, and then the Burmese, as well as Lavatar and Kranidos. So not too bad, you know. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for the new update. This will be happening tomorrow or um, today if I can get this video out on time for once. Uh, this should be live right now. So with that being said, get the Red Hat Pokemon because you only have two days for them to be in the wild. So if you're looking for a shiny Red Hat, then we have two days to grab these. Um, and then White Hat, we have four days in the wild. Now, they will be available 
uh, switch in the research. So it's not like if you don't get the red hat you, uh, in the first two days, you won't get it at all. They are in the research as well. Um, but if you're looking for them in the wild, grind. And again, they probably won't be able to evolve because most costume Pokemon can't. But for the collection, for the shiny opportunities, grind out the first two days because everything's going to be switching on the 18th at 10 a.m. So with that being said, that's actually going to be it for today's episode. Oh, I actually have to go back that way uh, and get some of these new stops. Uh, I am working towards my last, my 35th platinum uh, metal is to spin stops so I'm gonna need to spin all these uh, as well as you know work on my buddy with uh oh hello my buddy has found an interesting location uh this is almost always like a new stop and then when you go to it uh you actually usually get like something like slightly cooler like maybe a golden raspberry or silver pineapple um, if you've never seen your uh, ultra or best buddy do this uh, it's pretty dope so I'm gonna go back this way and uh, yeah like I said that's gonna be it for today's episode if you did like it go ahead and smash the thumbs up button if you're enjoying the series please subscribe and as always God bless and see you for another episode of Pokemon Go